I'm used to it right now. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Mike Mackey. Um, it's going to be a little bit different content than you guys are normally used to on the channel. Um, it's going to be more of a vlog style, um, you know, behind the scenes look at um, some of the things that I have to deal with uh, as far as having a chronic condition like the one that I have. Um, so if you didn't already know, I suffer from a chronic condition called atopic dermatitis um, as well as asthma. Um, atopic dermatitis is... Um, so it's like a chronic version of eczema that's pretty much head to toe. <laughs> so uh, I've had it my whole life um, and I have been on every medication under the sun. Um, and uh, today I want to showcase one of the treatments. Uh, it's not the best treatment that I have found, um, thankfully, throughout my, uh, you know, my journey with it. And, um, you know, with the condition, um, a lot of the medications and treatments that are available are um, unfortunately not very good for you. They, they come with a host of side effects and things of the nature. So, um, you know, corticosteroids and things like that, topical corticosteroids. Um, so somebody with a condition as, as severe as mine, um, you know, those kind of medications are really used to kind of help, um, you know, minimize, uh, I guess, really, really, really bad breakouts and, you know, um, just try not to get too bad, where, you know, where it's, you're requiring, like, you know, antibiotics and, you know, all these other host of things that start to come with, you know, the, it getting so bad. So, um, this treatment is, um, by far the best treatment that has come across, uh, at least for me with, you know, my condition. Um, it's called Dupixent or Dupilumab. Um, I'll even do a little like this, right? That's what it is. And, um, it, uh, it's an injectable biological medication that's a subcutaneous injection. Uh, you take it every two weeks. And um, it has been, you know, a game changer for somebody um, like me. It has given me a return to quality of life that I did not expect from it. Um, you know, if some people, if you have been in a similar situation or, um, you know, you, you've had, you find, especially with autoimmune disorders, um, you find like sometimes you get so bad, right? You end up taking like prednisone or like cyclosporin or some really other um, immunosuppressant kind of medications. And, um, you know, you'll get, you know, it, it'll really wreak havoc on your system. And um, thankfully, the dupilumab does not do. Um, it doesn't come with a host of side issues, unfortunately. Um, it does come with, you know, one um, minor, uh, you know, it's kind of a major, I guess, um, you know, side effect is that um, it does have issues or, you know, people who have issues with their eyes and things like that um, really should avoid taking it. And unfortunately, I do have issues with my eyes. Um, I've already had, you know, I think eight surgeries and I have retina, you know, retina issues, um, as well as, um, I had, uh, uh, cataracts, um, you know, developed due to, um, you know, the use of corticosteroids and things like that over time. So, I mean, things like that really come with a host of really bad side effects that, you know, can really wreak havoc on your internal organs, you know, your, your vision, all kinds of stuff. So, um, today... I wanted to showcase Dupixent and um, kind of what I, my process is and how I go about it and, and um, you know, administering the drug. So it comes in a vial like this. This is the 300 milligram. I do, wait, wait this is how the, uh, the chicks do it, right? Like that. Okay. So it comes into a 300 milligram. And, um, you know, you want to make sure it's, it's not cloudy. It doesn't have, like, chunks and bubbles in it. Um, you know, it's frozen or anything like that. Um, the care instructions are you keep it in a, a refrigerated um, environment, right? Um, they only take it out when you need to administer it. Or, you know, you, you give yourself some time to um, acclimate to the room temperature. But, you know, it's not supposed to be in direct sunlight. And, uh, you know, certainly don't uh, keep it unrefrigerated um, because the biological organism that's in there, right, it's alive. So... You want to keep it, um, you know, keep it in good condition. So, um, I didn't have the box and stuff, but, you know, it comes with a little packet like this sometimes. Um, 
you know, it usually will always have a, um, a little, like, visual accompaniment on how to administer it and where to administer it and how to dispose of your medication. Um, you know, that's another thing as well is because this medication is injectable, you can't just throw it away. So, you know, you have to have a sharps container or some other legal receptacle that um, will contain medical waste, and, you know, bio waste and medical waste. So, you know, you get uh, some stuff like this. Give you a little example, right? You know, it kind of gives you a little brief example. It's a... Uh, pretty self-explanatory you know um you inject it underneath the skin and um that's it it's a self um retracting um device so you don't have to like um you know pull the plunger out and do all these it's you just inject it and it's done so first step is right i've already done it um as i wash my hands um the second thing you want to do is wash the site of the injection so for that you want to get alcohol alcohol dries really fast and um, you know you want to make sure everything's sterile you know you don't because you are injecting it you don't want to get an infection um, you know there's you know you don't want to, you know, things like that are bad so you know take the proper um, hygienic precautions so sometimes I also like to be overly um, erotic about it and, you know, also sterilize my hands with alcohol. But, you know, washing it and um, sterilizing it is preferable. So what I'll do is, and I'll show you, I'm going to stand up here. So find a spot. I usually alternate sites. So this week I'm going to go on this side. So, right, with the alcohol swab, you find yourself you know a nice area really get it nice and clean let it dry and you take the medication like this right. so let it dry so a little bit of alcohol there so I'll show you how to do this so get the other thing off there we go all right, so cap. This is right. So you do is you grab a nice little chunk of steel abs right here, and then uh, you uh, you know find a spot. And I just you know I find a spot like this, and you know inject it just like that. Boom. And once it's in, you know. Just start pushing down on the plunger. Make sure you guys can see it. So. I'm used to it. Right. So when it gets down to the bottom here um one of the things that you're going to see right and you know thankfully it actually went by pretty fast this time um sometimes right because of the gauge it was kind of slow so you know click right needle's going to retract automatically so take your finger off the plunger go just like that take your hand off the site you know a little bit of blood but nothing major you know, they recommend, you know, start rubbing it and stuff like that. So, you know, it's always just good to kind of just let it, you know, air out. But, you know, after it's done, right, as you see, the needle retracts back up into the um, device. And then um, you dispose of it in a disposable sharps container. So, you know, that is how I administer my depixin. It's a little sore afterwards, too. But, um, it's pretty cool, man, you know, um, as, the, getting over the initial, like, administering it in your stomach every, uh, two weeks, you know, once it becomes kind of, like, routine, it's pretty good because, you know, it really keeps your, it keeps, it keeps it at bay and, you know, in a real tremendous way and, um, you know, it just, it really, it alleviates, um, a lot of the, 
uh, you know, the, the effects of the condition. So, I mean, it doesn't get rid of the condition um, 100%. Usually, um, at the, like, I'd say the last half of the week before the next administration, you're going to find yourself itching more like I know I do. I scratch more, I start to feel more of, like, the eczema and the doctor coming, kind of creeping back. So, you know, you keep it a good regimen of doing it every two weeks. It's great. And, um, you know, follow your doctor's recommendations. Um, and uh, I hope that was uh, beneficial. I hope it was helpful for everyone. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, don't don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, you know, again, this is kind of behind the scenes thing that we're going to start doing. So, um, you know, look out for more videos and appreciate everyone's support. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, thank you, guys. Uh, have a great day. Okay, it's Mike Mackey. See you guys later. Peace. I'm used to it.